Oh, no, that is not good. And the horses say, fuck it, Peter. They are sick and tired of being treated like barn animals. And they let those humans know. As you can tell, folks, we are just telling you this is not a terrorist attack that's taking place. As you can tell, she's walking around like it is. But she's fine. She fell off a fucking wagon. She's going to be just okay. I think they're overreacting a hair. And look at the replay. Down they go. And Bambi and Stuart Little, the two horses, they didn't want any part of that. The good news for Oklahoma, though, things aren't going well on the field. Well, at least with the mascots or whatever those fucking horses are. 28-7, to they're leading. As for the girl in the middle, chill out. You're fine. And up by four points, here is the serve. Slapped, and the game begins up in the air. And how about that? You never see that before, Peter. It's what takes every man down on planet Earth. Right off the hoo-ha. She uses her strengths to her advantage. You see that move, taking down so many men across America. Well, she used it for this little game. Right off the vagina, another point scored. And the snap, the hold, and ain't no shitbag titty fucking here today. Tucker drains it, and the Ravens win. Lamar Jackson's excited, knocks a 49-yard dinger in hurricane-like conditions, and the Ravens win. He's been here so many times before, a chance to win it, not even close. Oh, my God, he pulls it. What did he do last night? He must have went out and got zapped. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is happy. Brissette's unhappy. And the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to win this one. And our producer, Peter, is whispering in my ear saying it might not have been Vinatieri's fault. Let's take a look at the replay. Oh, my goodness. Finkel is Einhorn. Einhorn is Finkel. Always laces out. And that is a shame because you practiced this so many times and for number eight to play and simply just fuck this one up, not a good thing. Vinatieri still a candidate right now for shitbag titty fuck of the week. Stay with us. At the 25, 30, he's got a little, holy shit! I mean, coach puts him in the game, poor kid just hit puberty. No idea what he's doing out there, and he gets fucking jacked up. They have waited so long for this moment, Peter, the world record. All they got to do is cross the bridge. They might have brought too many guys, though. I don't know. If one makes a mistake, the whole ship goes down. I mean, not literally, but you know what I mean. Oh, boy, we have an issue. The backside of the boat is stuck, and now the front half. Oh, my God, it's actually fucking sinking. What went from a chance to win the world record, it now went from that to a scene from fucking Titanic. They are panicking in the water, and I don't like to be the bearer of bad news, but they are heading straight for a fucking waterfall, and there's nothing they can do. The world record is out the window. Their lives are out the window. And all we can do now is pray that everyone is okay. But again, it was a fatal error by the team. Too many guys. So that now is a down on two-point game. LeBron with the ball. What is that? That's a travel. They're not going to call it. Look at the replay. Guy thinks he's fucking Nancy Kerrigan on figure skates. An obvious travel. The referees don't see it. I mean, welcome to the NBA. They don't call it. And from 51 yards, a chance to give the Falcons the win. Young Hoku. The kick is up, and it's good. Except it's a fucking video game. It's not real life. This is extra point. He's an NFL kicker, and he fucking pulls it. Left side. Now, I'm very upset. I have a lot of money riding in this game, and I'm pretty sure Young Ho Ku Fuck, whatever his name is, has pissed a lot of us off because we're losing money based on this guy's fucking wooden leg. Here he is from 42 yards to redeem himself. Not even close. Tug job. Yuck. Get this guy off the field. If I'm the fucking Falcons, I'm going for it no matter what. Fourth and fucking 50. Ugh. Well, they are about to go 10 and 2. And you know what that means in New England? Massive panic. There are no receivers left. Gronk went to become a movie star. 
Antonio Brown, well, we know the story there, uh, allegedly. And Josh Gordon, well, he just got way too fucking high. Brady is now yelling at the remaining receivers he has, and it's not looking good.